We're going to look now at reflecting graphs and what changes need to be made to a function in order to reflect graphs. So I've drawn another graph here you should be familiar with. It's the square root function, y equals the square root of x. And let's see what would happen if we took the x value in the function and replaced it with a minus x. So if we took the x values, all the x values, and, and replaced their x values with minus x, what would this new graph look like? Well, let's enter the equation in the graphing calculator and find out. We can see that the graph has been reflected in the y-axis. Remember, this is your x-axis here, and this is your y-axis here. So this function here is a mirror image of this one. If you took that function and reflected it about the y-axis. So anytime you have any function and you replace the x value with a minus x, whatever picture you have will be reflected about the y-axis. So if you have some, some graph over here, it will be reflected over to this side, and if you have a graph that's on this side, that part of the function will be reflected over to that side. So when we replace x with minus x, it reflects in the y-axis. Let's see what would happen if we replace the y value with minus y. Okay, so if I take the y value of my function and replace it with minus y, again we've got this problem. We can't enter it like that in the calculator. So what we've got to do is, this is like a minus 1 here, so divide everything by minus 1. means the function look like, looks like this. This is not the same as the last one we drew. The last one had the minus sign inside the function, inside underneath the square root. This negative sign is outside of the function. You can think of it as like the whole function with the minus sign in front. So if we enter that into our calculator, you should see that the graph now looks like this. And so as you would probably guess, when we replace y with minus y, the graph gets reflected both the x-axis. All of the y values up here change their sign. That's what we did. We changed the sign of the y value by making it negative. So a positive 2 becomes a negative 2. Positive 1 becomes a negative 1. And obviously 0 remains the same. So when we replace y with minus y, we get the graph reflected about the x-axis. When you reflect about the x-axis, all of your y values have changed sign. So let's review what happens when we replace x with minus x and y with minus y. When x is replaced with minus x, so that the equation y equals f of x becomes y equals f of minus x, all of the x-coordinates in the function will change sign. This means if x was minus 2, it'll become positive 2, and if x, say, was positive 5, it'll become negative 5. And this will cause the graph to be reflected in the y-axis. When y is replaced with minus y, so that the equation y equals f of x becomes minus y equals f of x, or if we brought the negative sign over to the other side, y equals negative f of x, all of the y-coordinates in the function will change sign, and this will cause the graph to be reflected in the x-axis.